Ruger, let's go for another X4. Welcome back to another video. Today we're on the Aberdeenshire coast in Scotland, heading to a place called Slane's Castle. Come with us. Slane's Castle, also known as New Slane's Castle, is a ruined castle in Aberdeenshire in Scotland. It overlooks the North Sea from its cliff top site. Unlike other castles in Scotland, Slane's Castle, including Bay, has been left neglected to nature and has now been granted listed status by Historic Environment Scotland. Constructed around an existing tower house built in 1597 by the 9th Earl of Errol, significant reconstruction of the castle has been carried out a number of times, lastly in 1837. It was altered in 1664 when a corridor was inserted within the courtyard and again in 1836 it was rebuilt and faced with granite. At one time it had three extensive gardens. Slane's Castle is associated with the author Bram Stoker, who was a regular visitor to the nearby Cruden Bay between 1892 and 1910. The castle is mentioned in his locally set novels The Waters Moo and The Mystery of the Sea. The castle is still called Dracula's Castle by the locals today. In 1916, the 20th Earl of Errol sold New Slains. This ended more than 300 years of occupation by the family. It was purchased by Sir John Elliman, the wealthy but secretive owner of Elliman Lines Shipping Company, who never visited the castle. It was put up for sale again in 1922 and bought by Percy P. Harvey from London, who then disposed of the land, although the castle remained unsold. The castle was then bought by Charles Brand Limited, a Dundee-based demolition company who specialised in buying Scottish castles and mansions for demolition, and then making money from them, selling off masonry and other fittings. The demolition went ahead in summer of 1925, an advert headlining Demolition of Slane's Castle in Aberdeen Press and Journal, 5th of September 1925, listed various items for sale, battens, flooring, slates, doors, windows, baths, wash hand basins, sinks, stable fittings, stone paving and other building materials. It was said that the roof of the castle was removed to avoid paying taxes, but we've also read that the roof was removed by the demolition company to recover lead and slates for resale, so we're not sure which is the true story. The castle is now a roofless shell with most of the outer inner in walls still standing. The interior of the ground level is a maze of passageways and smaller rooms reflecting a high state of occupancy in the 17th century. In 2004 it was reported that the Slane's partnership was preparing plans for restoration of the building and conversion into 35 holiday apartments. In 2007 the scheme was granted outline permission by Aberdeenshire Council but the plans were put on hold in 2009 due to the recession.
No, this is some of it's brick. Yeah, and there's that one like a, you know, like a fireplace or something. And that's the yeah. yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it's a wooden I know they're all on here. You don't think it's like worthy of that plaster? It's brick on inside, though, isn't it? Legend has it that the castle is haunted by the spirit of Victor Hay, 21st Earl of Errol. There's some more steps right at the top. That's the view.
We hope you've enjoyed this video of the old castle. Please consider giving this a like, hitting that notification bell for future videos, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Till next time, see ya.